Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for January 7th through the 13th. I don't know why I'm connecting with your energy and I got like butterflies in my stomach. Like I felt nervous. So I don't know Virgo, maybe something's going on. Maybe you're nervous about something. You have something big coming up, some of you. Maybe you're just anxious about the new year ahead. But we'll see what's going on. We'll see what's in the cards. For those of you who don't know, this is a general reading for all areas of your life. I will pull one card for love. If you want a more detailed, juicier love reading, there's a Virgo love reading that I've already done for January, and I will have the link to that video in the description of this one. So you can watch that after this if you'd like. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on. Oopsie. All right, so here's your Monday, Tuesday, Virgo. Your Wednesday, Thursday. Wow. All right, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then one card for love. All right, there's your love card. Okay. Nothing to it but to do it. Let's see what's going on. Your Monday, Tuesday. Five of Pentacles, Virgo. So this could be you're kind of going into um, something that's not a sure thing. Maybe you feel like you're taking a gamble on something or you're going out into the unknown in some way. Some of you are getting ready to walk away from a situation and you don't have like a safety net set up. It could be where you're preparing to leave a job. Uh, maybe you're taking a leap of faith into like some self-employment. Uh, maybe you're getting ready to leave a relationship in which can make finances a little bit more challenging or more tricky for you. But five of pentacles is to me when it comes up, it makes me think of coming into a time where there's changes happening in your life. And you're going through some kind of a transition that in the long term is going to bring you stability. But you might have to be careful or cautious with your money in the meantime. Uh, for example, like if you're starting a business, right? Or if you're going to working for yourself, you might have to sacrifice a few things until, you know, the income starts coming in. Maybe you can't go out as much. Maybe you can't, you know, spend so much money or time with entertainment. Uh, you know, maybe you have to simplify a little bit. To me, Five of Pentacles is really kind of going into this transition and also figuring out who your real friends are or who really has your back who's really there for you maybe virgos a lot of you have been living a little bit more uh lavishly or maybe money was like really good for you in the more recent times and maybe a lot of fair weather friends came out or maybe it's not necessarily that your finances are, are are changing like maybe you just were very generous in some ways and so you had a lot of like you know good time charlies in your life and now that you're you know focusing on this transition and you're being more cautious you might find that people aren't as eager to hang out with you but at the same time you are seeing who still there for you when i see five of pentacles it makes me think of very fulfilling relationships because it's in those hard times where we can have some really happy moments it's in those challenging times where we're growing and developing where relationships can really grow and develop so there's definitely blessings that's coming in with this but a lot of you Virgos might be preparing for some kind of transition. I feel the transition has to do with getting rerouted, some kind of a move, okay? Maybe for some of you, this is a literal move, like literally you're moving from one place to another. But maybe for other ones of you, it's more like energetic, like you're trying to get established into like your soul family or into a new group of friends or into a new circle. But you're really, really trying to um, leave behind certain aspects of your old life as you're coming into a new life your wednesday thursday is two of pentacles so to me two of pentacles is there's a lot going on okay you have a lot to juggle right now you're going into this unfamiliar territory and on top of that you have your daily obligations and your responsibilities it can feel a little bit stressful but the message with two of pentacles is two of pentacles wants to remind you to try to have fun as much as you can with your current circumstances and with what you're doing. Very much like if you were dealing with a young child 
field and you guys had chores, right? You might try to turn the chores into a game so that the child's helping you and not, you know, fighting against you and, you know, you know, just picking up some good habits here. So try to find ways to make this enjoyable in any way that you can. That's going to go a really, really long way. You know, the spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Um, that kind of philosophy, that kind of mentality. Some of you are feeling like I'm hearing trained monkey, like I'm not a trained monkey. So maybe some of you are wanting to leave a situation because you feel like somebody's just kind of like putting a lot on your plate. Maybe it's a partner that's like putting way too many crazy expectations on you. Maybe it's a work situation where they're kind of like bleeding you dry, but they're not giving you a whole lot back. But something might be happening midweek where you're just like, I, I, I have to figure out what I'm going to put down because I can't, I can't keep on top of everything like this forever. Like you might be feeling like this is the time to make some decisions here what I'm going to tolerate in my life, what I'm not going to tolerate, you know, what I'm going to let go of, what I'm going to hold on to. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Virgo, is Page of Wands. And to me, this is going after a new opportunity or a new endeavor. So a lot of you are making a decision to walk away from something. Maybe you're walking away from a relationship because there's something new coming in that seems a little bit more promising. Um, maybe some of you are walking away from a job situation because something's coming along where you're more excited about it. It might not even be necessarily about money, but more so just like, man, that's really the kind of work I've been wanting to do, or that's really something that feels very meaningful to me. Because when we have the wants cards that are about passion, they're about excitement. Some of you might be, this might be a person for some of you. Some of you might have a younger fire sign person coming in, um, for uh, an opportunity in some way whether it be business or in love uh i don't know why but all of a sudden this is like really jumping out at me okay um and i've seen this card like a billion times and that's never jumped out at me before so that's making me feel that intuitively uh something might be happening with some of you with a contract some of you maybe are being presented with an opportunity and you're accepting some kind of contract, um, like an agreement, some kind of agreement to go in a new direction, some kind of offer, okay? There may be some fear, there may be some fear, but overall, you're, you're taking the leap of faith, you're having faith, you're having faith in this agreement, that it's going to be something good for you, um, for some of you, it could have to do with receiving news from somebody, Maybe, maybe somebody's reaching out to you, somebody is contacting you, possibly, potentially, maybe even somebody from the past, and you're like, this is it, I'm going to go for this. Whether you're running into an old friend and they're hooking you up with a work opportunity or uh, a, a past lover is reaching out or saying, hey, I miss you, whatever it might be, you're, you're, you're going ahead. You're going ahead with this new offer, this new energy that's coming in. Your love card for the week, Virgo, is death, right? Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio because the death card is definitely uh, associated with Scorpio. So some of you may have a significant soulmate connection with a Scorpio. Um, the energy here, though, is about transformation and transition, like some kind of change or something coming to an end. Some of you have to end some kind of karmic cycle with a significant soulmate whether the soulmate is a scorpio or not something needs to come to an end here and there might be some kind of closure that needs to happen uh because the card is coming up for you virgo i feel the closure might be more so on your end i think the person who you need to have this conversation with may have already like let it go or you might be looking at them and you might be like oh that jerk you know like i i'm still like hurt by what happened and look at them they're all out there and they're all like living their life and they're with this person they're with that person or they think that they're all that so you might have some resentments but i feel like this is the week where the energy is shifting or giving you the chance to be able to finally let that go so that that resentment or that anger 
that hurt, that bitterness is no longer blocking you in your love life, right? Because having that unpleasant feeling about that person is really just robbing you from your joy. It's not doing anything to hurt the other person. It's not, I mean, it's not doing anything to, like that person's not going to be punished by the fact that you're upset and you don't want them to be happy because they were a jerk to you. But when you release that and you let that go and you transform from that, you know, you're going to have a better life and you're going to have better opportunities. And it doesn't matter what happened with that other person. Some of you are receiving some kind of news, I feel. You know, maybe you're, you're receiving news or you're reaching out to somebody from the past um, and, and clarifying things, clarifying things, maybe coming in with an apology, maybe just coming in with an explanation of why things were the way that they were so that you can both kind of, you know, move on. This could be for some of you where you're changing and it's affecting your love life. Maybe you're kind of going through like a spiritual awakening and you're changing as a person. And so maybe a, a current partner is like trying to get used to this new you and doesn't understand what's going on. Uh, and some of you are just full on just, you know, ending a relationship because it's not fitting in with your life anymore, right? Like a lot of this has been about, like we said, walking away, walking away. So it could very well be in your love life. You're walking away from something in your love life. I think some of you are going to try to go back to somebody from the past and then you're going to like just put that to rest. You're going to realize it's not the right thing for you or uh, it may maybe it was good back then, but it's not the right thing for you now. But you're clearing out the energy so that the right, situation for this new you this transformed you can come in okay so this feels very transitory to me this week virgo like just changes happening like you're in transition but you're definitely headed towards things that are going to bring you the most happiness um you know after all of the changes that have been going on again check out your moon sign and rising sign videos that will add more information check out the love reading for virgo you may need a private reading i'm more than happy to do that for you as well reach out and let me know virgo if you like a private reading and um thank you for watching thank you for liking sharing subscribing commenting till next week my friends